The Battle of Beaufort, also known as the Battle of Port Royal Island, was fought on February 3, 1779, near Beaufort, South Carolina, during the American Revolutionary War. The battle took place not long after British forces consolidated control around Savannah, Georgia, which they had captured in December 1778. Brigadier General Augustine Prevost sent 200 British regulars to seize Port Royal Island at the mouth of the Broad River in South Carolina in late January 1779. Major General Benjamin Lincoln, the American commander in the South, sent South Carolina Brigadier General William Moultrie from Perrisburg, South Carolina with a mixed force, composed mainly of militia, but with a few Continental Army men, to meet the British advance. The battle was inconclusive, but the British withdrew first, and suffered heavier casualties than the Americans. Background The British began their southern strategy by sending expeditions from New York City and St. Augustine, East Florida to capture Savannah, Georgia late in 1778. The New York expedition, under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Archibald Campbell, arrived first and successfully captured the town on December 29, 1778. Four remnants of Savannah's defenders combined with South Carolina militia under Major General Benjamin Lincoln at an encampment at Perrisburg, South Carolina to oppose the British Five. When Brigadier General Augustine Prevost arrived from St. Augustine in mid-January 1779, he assumed command of the garrison there, and on the 22nd sent a force under Camp Bell to take control of Augusta and raise Loyalist Militia Company 6. Prevost decided thereafter to send a force to occupy Port Royal Island just up the coast in South Carolina, where he had been led to believe that Loyalist sentiment was strong. On January 29 the HMS Vigilant, an unseaworthy ship of the line that had been converted to a floating battery, was towed by Royal Navy crews in longboats through the channel separating Hilton Head Island from the mainland. She was accompanied by a flotilla of smaller ships that carried 200 infantry from the 16th and 60th regiments under Major William Gardner, one who had orders to take control of Beaufort, the island's main settlement 7. The only major defense establishment on Port Royal Island was Fort Littleton, which was garrisoned by a company of Continental Army troops under Captain John D. Trevelate, when he learned that a comparatively large British force was moving in his direction, he spiked the fort's cannons and blew up its main bastion in order to deny their use to the superior force 7 when General Lincoln learned that communications with Port Royal Island had been cut off by the British advance. He sent South Carolina Brigadier General William Moultrie, who had distinguished himself in the 1776 Battle of Sullivan's Island, and 300 men, to counter the move 7. Nine Moultrie's force was composed mostly of South Carolina militia from the Beaufort area, but it was accompanied by a few Continental Army regulars, and two companies of artillery from Charleston, which were headed by former Congressman Edward Rutledge and Thomas Hayward Jr. Ten this force arrived at the main Port Royal Ferry on the 31st, not long after Detreville had finished destroying the Fort 11 they crossed over to the island on February 1st, and occupied Beaufort, 